Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm AD and the other half's H. We're about to document the journey of our narrowboat build. But first, a bit about us. We're both in our 50s. We've been on the road, travelling around 53 countries since meeting in 2013. We met through our mutual love of Northern Soul music and dancing and uh, changed, exchanged numbers and uh, went out on a couple of nights out together and took it from there. Took her on a couple of test runs and she passed her MOT. Next thing I know, he'd moved in. His excuse was uh, his ex had taken the washing machine. One thing to tell him though, I'd already planned that I was going to go travelling later that year um, and weren't sure about having a relationship. She dropped that bombshell on our second date. After a good, oh, I don't know, 20 seconds I thought, you know what? I'm going to. We both had a few previous relationships. Um, got three kids, grown up kids between us. And as you know, life teaches you certain things. And for us, an important one was never to wait for that so-called perfect time. So we just decided, you know, let's go for it. And so we did. We both owned our own homes. Um, so we decided to get them ready to rent out and uh, we started giving away all our stuff and selling what we could, selling our cars um, and started planning our escape. We used the money that we made to buy our first home together, which was a three and a half ton, seven and a half metre long motorhome. We threw a leaving party, said our farewells, and then headed off with no particular place to go.
we met up with lots of uh, family and friends along the way, people we hadn't seen for a long time. And we also met lots and lots of new friends, uh, some that will stay with us forever. met lots of inspirational people along the way. The overwhelming kindness of people was really humbling. wild camp most of the time and we absolutely love that freedom. didn't really plan too much. We um, just took one day at a time and as long as we had a sort of general idea of which way we were going, we just headed off. Travelled through most of Europe, Morocco and Turkey.
one of the best highlights was crossing the Arctic Circle. It was spectacular. <laughs> After three years and 46 countries later, we were back in the UK, which gave us time to reflect on actually where we'd been and what we'd achieved in that time. We travelled on some incredible roads, met some wonderful people and visited some amazing places. Spent some time in England, catching up with friends and spending time with family before we got itchy feet again. We put the van into storage and headed to New Zealand. First stop buy our next new home together. A bargain basement, three man tent. Told you you'd hit the jackpot when you met me. We bought ourselves a car on a buyback scheme and then we spent the following five months exploring this beautiful country. There's a temperature started to drop, all the condensation that was building up in the tent was uh, turning to ice and sliding down the walls, so it was time to leave New Zealand. Said our goodbyes to everyone. Stuck the tent in the bin, um, gave all our stuff to all the other campers we met along the way and headed to the Cook Islands.
once we'd thawed out, we headed back to New Zealand for Haley's birthday. Um, for a treat, we went to watch the, the All Blacks play at Eden Park. It was amazing and just finished off New Zealand perfectly. That evening, my son rang me to say that my daughter-in-law had gone into labour. In four days' time, we'll be back in England.